Good morning, Grade 10 Sapphire! I am your mathematics teacher and my name is Angel Kim Esquizon. And you can call me Teacher Kim. So before anything else, may I call on Aryan to please lead a prayer? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So again, good morning, everyone. Okay. So before you take your seats, kindly check the alignments of your chairs and make sure to pick up all the pieces of trash on the floor. Okay, very good. Now, everyone, please settle down. So, class, I guess no one is absent, right? Okay, very good. You're complete. Now, by the way, class, how are you feeling right now? Wow, you're fine and good. I'm so glad to hear that. So, for today, class, we will be embarking in a new journey. But before going to our topic, let me remind you that I don't want to see anybody who is talking with their classmates while I'm having a discussion. So if you want to talk or you have some questions or clarifications, just raise your hand and don't hesitate to ask me. And also, please listen carefully. Understood? Okay. So class, I'm so sure that you are very eager and excited to learn for this morning. That is why I have prepared a game. So this game is by group. And I will divide you into two groups. So this will be the group one and this will be the group two. In this game, I will be giving you a box which has a puzzle pieces inside of it. So your task each group is to assemble those puzzle pieces and paste it on the board. Don't worry because I will be providing you a scotch tape and also a strip of colored paper for you to write your guesswork of what would that picture would be. And also you have to paste it below the puzzle picture. Understood? Okay. So take note that the first group who could finish it first will get the 10 points. Understood? Okay, very good. Now, this will be yours group one and this will be yours group two. Okay, time starts now. Okay, time's up and as you can see, group one finished it first. Very good group one. Yes, the word for the picture is three since it shows three pigs. And since group one finished it first, they will receive the 10 points. And also, let us give group one a wonderful clap. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, wonderful. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, wonderful. Very good, group one. And now, class, I'm so sure that you still want another activity, right? Okay, very good. Now, for our next activity, we will be playing a let's go hunting game. So, in this activity, it is also done by group and since from our previous activity was also done by group, I will be no longer group you again. So for this activity, there will be scattered small treasure boxes inside this classroom and your task each group is to look for those five small boxes and present it to me. And to avoid confusion, the group one will look for the orange boxes and the group two will look for the blue boxes. Again, the group one will look for the orange boxes and the group two will look for the blue boxes. So take note class that each box has a number inside of it. So you must be observant enough to look for on what's inside the box. Understood? Okay, now you may start. Okay, time's up. So group two presented to me first. Very good group two. Now let us give group two a wonderful clap. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Wonderful. Again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wonderful. Now, class. From our first activity, which is the assemble me, the correct answer was three, right? Oh, yes. Now, what do we call the word three? Yes, Karen. Okay, it is a number. Now, from our second activity, which is the let's go hunting activity, have you generated the numbers inside the small treasure boxes? Or what can you say about those numbers inside of it? Yes, Rainier. Okay, it multiplied. Another term. Yes, Charlene. Okay, it's a pattern. Now, class. If we combine those two activities, what can we formulate if we, if we combine those two? Okay, yes, Grace. Yes, it is a number pattern. And since you are talking about number pattern, that would lead us for our topic in this morning, which is the arithmetic, arithmetic sequence. But before talking of what is arithmetic sequence is, let us first know about what arithmetic and sequence means. So if we say class arithmetic, it is the branch of mathematics dealing with the properties and manipulation of numbers. And if we say sequence, it is the it is the movements of events or things that follows a particular order or a pattern. Now, we were able to know what arithmetic and sequence means. Let us know now the meaning or what is arithmetic sequence means. So first, let me introduce to you my train, which is I call the arithmetic sequence train. So as you can see, the train is not totally complete, right? Okay. And to make it complete, let us know, let us put the parts of the train by knowing more about the arithmetic sequence. So first, we have is the first thing we have is the meaning. What do we mean the arithmetic sequence? So arithmetic sequence, it is a list of numbers with a definite pattern. For example, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. It is a se the sequence is arithmetic. The arithmetic, if it has a number D, which is called the common difference. And the common difference should be constant and it should be not changed. So, how can we get the common difference? So, we can get the common difference by subtracting the previous number from the first number. Next, we have is the formula. The arithmetic sequence has also its formula. We have the a sub 1, or a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1, which is constant, that minus 1 times d. So, it symbolizes to a sub n, which is our nth term, the a sub 1, our first term, the, a, the n, which stands for our third position, Minus 1, which is constant, on our D is the common difference. Last, we have is the example. So, example. Find the 35th term in the arithmetic sequence of 3, 9, 15, and so on. So, take note everyone that you only have 3 things needed in order to find the 35th term using the formula. We have the first one is the first term. The second one is the common difference. And the third one is the term position. So, the solution 
in finding the missing term is using the formula which, which is the a sub n equals a sub 1 plus quantity of n minus 1 times t then substitute it we have the our a sub n is our 8 sub 35 equals to 3 our first term 35 our term position minus 1 times 6 our difference so we have equals 3 plus 34 times 6 and we got 3 plus 204 so our 35th term in this sequence is 207 so that would be all class and I hope you learned something from my discussion which is all about the arithmetic sequence so to test if you have learned from my discussion I have prepared another activity so class are you familiar with the game roulette wheel of luck okay but I also have my own version of that game which I called roulette wheel of sequence so the mechanics of this game is that I have here a box which has your names inside of it so this box will be passed from the first student in the front to the next student beside him as the music plays and if the music stops then whoever the student holding the box will have to pick a name inside of it then the student he or she picks will have a chance to spin the wheel so as you can see everyone our wheel has 12 Disney characters that contains 9 arithmetic sequence problems, a jackpot, a red try, and a call a friend. So if the arrow pointed to any Disney characters which has the 9 arithmetic sequence problem, so you will have to answer it for 10 points. If the arrow pointed to a jackpot, then you will be no longer answering the problem and automatically get the 10 points. So if the R pointed to a red try, of course, you have to spin the wheel again. And lastly, if the R pointed to call a friend choice, then you will have a chance to call someone to help you in answering the arithmetic sequence problem. Am I clear, class? Okay, very good. Now class, to master your understandings, I want you to get a one whole sheet paper and answer the following. Okay? So okay, time's up. Now everyone kindly pass your papers in the front very good thank you now class for your assignment i want you to research and study in advance about the arithmetic series again i want you to research and study in advance about the arithmetic series okay so that would be all for this morning class and to formally end our session i will leave you a quote said by edward de Buno, which is we need creativity in order to break free from the temporary structures that have been set up for, from a particular experience. So again, that would be all. Thank you and class dismissed.